As part of our inquiry into the London bombing, we wanted to investigate the suspicious death of Jean-Charles de Mendez. Within days of his brutal murder at the Stockwell tube station in the London underground, evidence of a cover-up began to emerge. What did you witness with the, the unfortunate Brazilian man that died? We, all we saw was the police running in to the station with guns. That's all we saw. We didn't see anything else at all. And then after that, after, a couple of seconds after that, we were vacated down South Lambeth Road. That was all we saw. We didn't see anything else. I mean, are you sad for him and his family that he's dead? Oh, yeah, but at the end of the day, he should have stopped and surrendered, shouldn't he? If it's happened in his own country, he would have been shot down as well. So with all that's gone on, the police were only doing what they thought was best, as why far as I'm concerned. He, why do you think he ran? Well, because his visa had run out, obviously, but he's not going to have armed police running after him just because his visa's run out, has he? So the police were protecting, you know, the people travelling on the, on the tube, so I don't see any wrong in what the police have done at no, all. No, I, I understand your view on that. Why do you think they shot him eight times in the head? Oh, I don't know. It's a lot of times to shoot him. It is a lot of times to shoot him. How many times did you hear if they shot him? Five at first. Five, and then, no, three first, then five, then it went up to eight. So... And I, the police admit they tackled him and then shot him. Well, they told him to surrender, didn't they? They told him to stop, and he didn't. He carried on running, so, you know. What else could they have done, as far as I'm concerned? 007, huh? 007. License to kill. Yeah. I still believe that there should be a shoot-to-kill policy. I still believe, personally. But that's my views, you know. I think people should give up their liberty for freedom. All right. London police were later forced to admit that Mr. Dimenez never ran from them, wasn't wearing a heavy coat, and that a special army unit had killed him execution style with over 10 shots to the head at point blank range. The British government was so desperate to keep the details of the shooting secret that they went so far as to arrest an ITN television journalist who had simply gotten a copy of what would normally be a public police report. Government whistleblowers and police have also been suspended and arrested for telling the truth. We had our details taken and were threatened with arrest simply for asking questions of locals outside the Stockwell station and videotaping police. Um, where are you based? Austin, Texas. Police first claimed that it was a hot morning when official weather reports showed that it was around 60 degrees and that Mr. Dimenez was running down the street wearing a giant padded coat with wires sticking out of it that he vaulted over the turnstiles, charged through a crowd of pedestrians, raced onto the train, and was about to detonate bombs when the heroic officers gunned him down. The authorities then conveniently claimed that all the surveillance cameras malfunctioned that morning. Police have now been forced to admit, thanks to watchdogs in their ranks, that none of the cameras malfunctioned, and they've now released the video. The government has now been forced to admit that he was wearing a light denim jacket and there were no wires of any type. Police that weren't part of the special military unit didn't know why they killed him. The police had followed him from his home. They knew that he was a Latin Brazilian working in England as an electrician. They followed him for 30 minutes as he walked from his home towards the station. Once in the station, he calmly bought a Metro paper, paid for his ticket with his Metro Oyster card and then walked on to the train. Passengers then reported that they were told to get off the train. Once they'd stepped off, still looking through the windows, they saw the Special Forces Police squat on Mr. Dominguez and shoot him over ten times in the head. Witnesses said Dominguez looked at the authorities as if he knew them. He was like a scared rabbit, and he was killed execution style. The question is why. A special military hit team stalked him and tracked him from his home to the train station and then killed him in cold blood, making sure he was dead. It's well known that if somebody has a bomb, you don't shoot at them. And you certainly don't get near them. No, Mr. Dominguez had seen something he wasn't supposed to see. He learned a little too much, and he had to be eliminated.